You're about to see a ringer. Not the throw, but the man who made it. Did you see that? This unassuming senior citizen is actually a carnival huckster's worst nightmare. I'm gonna play with this one right here. The problem is that 64-year-old Peter right Dracos, a car salesman from Detroit, is good. Too good. So good, in fact, that here at the Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio, and at many other midways across the country, management has put limits on the number of prizes any one person can win. I don't want to say it's all because of me, but it is all because of me. <laughs> Still, Pink. Peter takes him to the cleaners every time. On this day, in just the first few minutes, he'd already amassed a kennel's worth of dogs. This is a talent he seems to have been born with. He started playing these games at the age of nine and won enough stuffed animals that first year to give one to every single kid in his school, about 200. Peter spent the next half century refining that gift. So we'll go here. Incorporating the fields of geometry, physics, and ultimately, engineering. Jan, we can go about six high. Today, he is arguably the best in the world at carnival games. And although this is about as much as they'll let him win now, before they limited the prizes, he would almost disappear in his winnings. Yeah. These shots are from a weekend at Circus Circus in Las Vegas. We couldn't even sleep in the rooms because you, you couldn't walk around the animals. It was wall-to-wall -wall animals. Which brings us to the downside of winning so many stuffed toys. You win so many stuffed toys. What do you do with all these animals? I give them away, every one of them. Conservatively, Peter says over the years he has donated about a quarter of a million toys to more than 50 different charities, which in my book makes Peter Dracos a big winner. Win or lose. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Sandusky, Ohio.